Welcome to another episode of Watch Once Over. My name is Big E. Today we're going to be looking at a watch in my personal collection. This is a Citizen Skyhawk uh, AT Atomic, and this one is a, a titanium version. I like that the best. These watches come in no less than about 15 different versions over the years. Several different Blue Angels, different strap choices, different metal uh, which is titanium or stainless steel and even some with leather uh, straps and this watch is has to be one of citizens all-time selling best watches you cannot go wrong with these whether you get a red um, arrows or a blue angels or a regular titanium one or one like this with the pops and shocks of orange metal uh, versions, strap versions, these watches are going to be the bee's knees. Now, I like it because they have a really short lug width of under 50 millimeters. Um, there are quartz and solar. And you can see this is uh, under 15 millimeters thick. And then the lug to lug without the male ends on here is going to come in right at 49. Now, if you measure this bezel diameter, um, that's coming in about 46, but don't be scared of that. This watch wears great. This is what it looks like on my wrist, which is 7.25 inches. And these watches are great. They have twin trigger sign, deployant, um, titanium, uh, or stainless steel uh, bracelets. You see it's all milled out. They're highly anti-magnetic. Um, some of them come with sapphires. This one has a sapphire crystal, but some come with mineral crystals. I prefer the sapphire crystal versions. There are a multitude of limited editions, um, and there are a couple different sizes. I believe there's three different sizes. This is the most common size, which is about a 45, um, but I think they have like a 43 three and up to like a 48 or something but there are multiple different sizes you have to uh, check of which ones and, and what I mean is not the Skyhawks I'm talking about with this module with this setup um, and this is an older version they do have a new version but it's not out in titanium um, it is uh, stainless steel and when the titanium one comes out in the new versions I probably will buy the new one too but this watch has um, an excellent loom. It's Citizen's proprietary uh, blue loom called Nautilite. And it is just as every bit as potent as Lumi Bright or Super Luminova. And I like that. And you also get a red backlight on here, as you can see. You get two time zones on here. I believe this one carries about, uh, about 30 cities. I'm not 100% sure. You can leave it in the comment if you know. But you can see right here at 8 o'clock, it is Eco Drive and Titanium. That's the setup I like. You have your slide rule. And this is a do-it-all watch, power reserve watch. Then you have your day-night 24-hour um, indicator, your UTC time. And then in this box, as you can see, I have it on East Coast time because I have family back east. See that? It's uh, New York City time, 3.13. And I'm on Denver time, which is 12 um 13 so this watch has it all excellent no crown that is signed with the pro master logo uh faux screw in screw out uh buttons but they're excellent you do get a sapphire crystal with anti-reflective coating 200 meters of hermeticity and this beautiful beautiful two-tone high polished and brushed bracelet i really like this watch I think it is a world beater. Um, everybody needs an Atomic Citizen um, Pro Master in their life. You just do. Trust me, buy it. You'll like it. That's why I have one. If I have one, that means it's cool. My name is Biggie. That's the watch once over for today. God bless you. Please subscribe. And as usual, I'll catch you on the next video. And let me know what you guys think about this one. And I'll give you a loom shot to it. I'm not a light. Just in case you thought I might have forgot. That is your transitioning loom. And it's also backlit red.
and that's your nighttime shot. Great watch, great price point, um, and it's just an overall winner. I have to give these watches a 10 out of 10. That's the watch once over. My name is Big E, and as usual, I'll catch you guys on the next video. Thanks for watching.